Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about just a basic loading screen. We're not going to get into some, anything too fancy, but uh, just really get the concept down of what it takes to do a loading screen. So I have my app running here, and it's just some text on the screen called Welcome. First thing I'm going to do is create a folder called App. And in this folder, I'm going to create a folder called Services. And in this service folder, I'm going to create a uh, just a file called main service. I don't know. Nothing too special, right? Main service.js. And I'm going to export default class main service. And in here, I'm just going to have a function called load. What I'm going to do is this is load is going to take a callback function. Now you can do a callback function. You can do a promise. Or if you wanted to make it more complicated, you could do async await. It's up to you. Today, I'm just going to do a very basic demonstration with callback functions. So this the whole premises is just I'm going to create a set timeout. And in the callback function here, I'm going to set this for 3,000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. And in the callback function of the set timeout, I'm actually going to do my callback function, which really you don't have to actually do that. You can just do CB here, and it'll fire this function at the end of 3,000 seconds. Or sorry, 3,000 milliseconds. So that's the basics of just having this class, nothing special in it. Um, it's just kind of showing you if you would hit a some kind of URL fetching some data and you got to wait for all your data to come back before you want to display anything on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this, import uh, main service from dot slash app slash services slash main service. So one thing I actually forgot, um, to be able to use this class method here, without instantiating it, I have to define static. Because otherwise I'd have to set some kind of variable uh, where, it, where it equals to new main service before I can even call that method. But I don't really want to go into that. I just want to be able to call that method directly. So I'm going to create a constructor method here. And every time you create a constructor method, you have to call super. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to set state. Set state equal to an object and say loaded. And it's right now it's false. Okay. So I'm gonna call main service dot load, because we have that method there. And then when that load gets done, we're just gonna do this dot set state loaded is true. So nothing too crazy. Obviously, it's kind of it's not real, it's kind of fake, but this 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 displays the concept of what would happen. Now in in our Render value, a render method here in our return value, we're going to uh, add a ternary operator here. Now, you don't have to do it this way. There's other ways of going about it, but this is the simplest way. So, you just create a curly brace around everything, and you say this.state.loaded, question mark, which means if it's loaded, then we're going to display welcome. And after that, do colon else, which is an else block, text uh, loading. Da, da, da. So this will uh, display the loading if it's not loaded, and then when it's loaded, it will display welcome. So you can see our loading's here, and after three seconds, it goes to welcome. And so normally you'd build some components, and you'd put that, you'd have like two different screens, and they were two different components separated out. You'd have one for loading screen, one for your main screen, and your main screen has access to your entire app. So we, we could try that again. Let's put it a little bit longer for six seconds. You see it refreshes automatically. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I suck at counting apparently. <laughs> but you can see that it went back to our welcome screen. So that's the basic concept of just getting that loading screen going on. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. Real simple. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to share and like and 